Back when I was 13 and 14, I raced go-karts at a local dirt-slash-clay speedway called Winchester Speed Park. Uh, you'd get your kart and you'd come out to the races and race against other people whose parents had bought them carts. I was a black cart, number 21. And occasionally I spun out. Unfortunately, Ryan doesn't have a left lead on it. Don't, don't, oh boy. Don't get hit. So I have some video of that, and I'm just going to show some of it. Here's me getting pushed back onto the track after spinning out during a race. However, throughout the first few months of this, there was this girl named Mindy. And Mindy, whenever her cart didn't break down, she won the race, and she won it by a long shot. So it was always a trick to try to beat Mindy. Now we have a video here of my first win. But in that particular race, Mindy had indeed broken down and was not able to finish the race. So it wasn't really my most impressive win. Well, this is what the cart looks like on the day after the race. It was a bit muddy out there. This is what the boy looks like the day after the race. He's clean now. But I wasn't the only one that sometimes threw myself into a wall or something like that. So this is a, a video of a race where I am starting on the outside, close to Mindy actually, who started on the inside first place, and she quickly takes the lead after the green flag. However, whenever there was a spin out or a crash or something, they would throw a yellow flag and the and the field would group back up again. So if you were behind and a yellow came out, you would have a chance to group up with the leaders again and have a better chance of passing them. So that right there, someone spinning out would cause a yellow flag. Which meant that me in second, even though I was way behind when the yellow flag came out, now when we group back up, I start once again up next to first place. And finally, on this restart, I took the lead from Mindy. There's not too many laps to go, but she's trying to make a move to take the lead back. Oh, that white flag, white flag, final lap. This is me trying to hold on to my lead for the final turn of the race. So, alas, my goal of beating Mindy in a race would have to wait a little longer. Oh. That was a pretty close race. How do you feel? I have a cramp. <laughs> Where? On my tummy. Oh. You drank too much water? I don't think, I don't know. Or not enough? 
That was a pretty good race. That was exciting to watch. We'll get her next time. How'd the car feel? It was good handling. Yeah? Cars? You got the setup down? Yes. All right. You nailed the setup. Don't look at me. Look in, look in here. All right, now oh, we gotta. Bye. Now we gotta put all this stuff away. Hi, Natalie. Ready for a good race? No. Look at me. How you holding up? Had a long day at camp <laughs> this week. All right, here we go. I think we're going to have a green. Rookie go-karts on the speedway. 
catch you now unless you do something like lose it. advantage of it and holding this just be held them up. They weren't even close to you. That makes my teeth dry, see? <laughs> uh, so it's no longer the worst thing in history? I was looking behind me. You were see looking where they behind were. you. I was seeing trying to see where they were. That sounds dangerous. Did the tachometer help you? No. Well yeah, because it told us how hot we were, so we went hotter. You put in a hotter plug. I thought you tried that and you died or some silly thing. That was because we had the wrong gas air mixture. Oh. All right. Well, the Nat. What do you have to say, Nat? Good job. Cool. She said, "Good job." Well, no. Let's go. Let's go watch the microstocks. All right.